Um, are you ready to front the scene? Uh, the first big speech is tricky. I wanted to watch it. You know, the one thing I got the worm and decay eaten into my bones. Season by season. And each spring developed into summer. And each summer declined into autumn. I had found the subtle time to time wash over me. So you know it then? I know the whole heart. I think it's devastating. I think the whole place would be devastating. At least she seems to know the part. Right, um, we'll take a few agents, Harry. Lights, Sam? Um, don't you think it would help if I had a little more light? Uh, light? I'm almost completely the shadow. Sam, give me some more light for the scene, will you? Um, I think the baby's bought a number two button should do the trick. I'll go to the audience and see how it looks. Uh, yeah, and we may not be able to keep it in though. May I sit down? Yeah. Do you care for a cigarette? Do you mind? Uh, you haven't changed. <clears throat> it seems only yesterday that you're sitting here. Of a military band in the square, the smell of the papaya cigar. That waiter, the one who always is to serve us with his nose like a gargoyle in Notre Dame. Where is he now? Dad. Twelve years ago! Died? Yeah, yes, I suppose he must have. He was 87 if he, if he was a day. He used to ask after you, Charles. Every evening when he brought me my pretty knock, it was one glass. No more. Uh, that, that was 18 years ago. Forgive me. There's nothing else to forget. I knew you would. I do not need a prompt! What? It's ridiculous! Isn't it enough that I have to struggle with ridiculous lines without being prompted every time I was for bread? I'm sorry. You were slow in the queue. That is a dramatic. Lights up. 